we can show you all of our little green outfits. Green shoes! <laughs> uh, right, we're going to switch around to our normal hair. Uh, so today we thought we would start showing you some new things, which is really exciting. Um, so let's roll in our mate Renee. Oh, you took your headband off. <laughs> um, with your little sparkles. With your little sparkles. Oh, she's yeah. so cute. You know what? Those are so on trend again. Are they? They're, they're coming back big time. Oh, Everywhere. Oh, home furnishings. Love anything. a good bow. Love a good bow. Love a good bow. Uh, anyway, so um, these are our little, um, our, yeah, the style clover. Um, but they're our little shoe that we're going to wear here in winter. It's like our little house shoe here at the HQ. Um, so this. Clover, clover wool. Clover wool. So we want to tell you all about this beautiful little creature. Um, Renee wore this out last night. She got mobbed by about three yeah. ladies mm -hmm. asking where the blazers did you get that shoe. Um, so it's kind of, dare I say, a little bit Birkenstock looking, um, but with our absolute minxy twist to it. So if I get Renee to slip her foot out for a quick second, um, you'll see inside here is a 100% pure sheep's wool lining. So that's a lovely, soft, soft, um, moisture absorbing pure wool lining. You've got in here the cork and latex rubber um, molded insole, and it's nice and broad, ladies, and you've got a non-slip sole on that. So I'll get Nate to put her cozy little foot back in. Um, the upper on this is suede. Don't be afraid of the suede, it's um, been treated and you can keep spraying it with the rain repel. And then look at that little bling on the side. That is what makes it minx mm -hmm. it, it's what makes it unique and stylish. Uh, it allows you to race off to the supermarket, it allows you to go oh, shopping yeah. in them um, and feel comfortable and relaxed. And of course, Nay's got it paired back with an asymmetric um, satin skirt, which is a really nice textural um, combination there, to be honest. Yeah. So that is style clover wool. It does come in a really beautiful, and I will grab it. Um, oh, yes. Talk about it yourself. I'll talk about it. And I am wearing a 41, ladies. Um, at the beginning, it sort of feels a little bit firm, but once you've worn them and smooshed the wool down, it's perfect, yeah. you can yeah. see. Um, it's good advice, actually. Yeah. Anything. So this winter, we have a lot of styles with wool linings. Um, so just be mindful. It takes a bit of fitting out to start with, but it does, Renee is right, it does um, scooch down and scrunch down. So um, that is your black suede um, upper with your black... Uh, sheep's wool lining mm -hmm. uh, and this is the other colorway so I did if you're not really into wool and not wanting all the all that heat down there for your foot um, this is a lovely blush suede very short nap suede so easy to care for uh, the lining on this is the sheep leather lining so um, you're still getting all that beautiful uh, moisture absorbing qualities of um, of the leather there so this is style clover look at that bling so pretty the clover clog Clover claw, clover claw. <laughs> right, who is ready to see some winter? Let's do some unboxing. We've got some boxes here. Uh, let's make a bit of room and get trying. Uh, we thought we would focus on um, green because of St. Paddy's Day. So let's get cracking with some green. We've got any ladies in this morning? We do. We've got lots. Yep, got lots. Is anyone sending us the Irish clover? Anyone no, telling me to kiss the Blarney Stone, wherever that may be? <laughs> right, so let's get going. What should we start with? So obviously I've got my Kelsey's on, which are really well loved, and a few of you ladies already they have still these. still have some available? Yep. 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 So, so these, and our retailers. Our retailers have just had a repeat of these, yep. actually. Uh, yep. So paired back with my lovely lace socket, ladies. Um, always good for under a sneaker, these lace sockets. Um, so let's just try the next steps. We've got some Irish clovers from... Oh. <laughs> Cute! Desley. Desley? Yeah, lovely. Um, so this here is our lovely little next step. I'm going to try it with the socket, see if we can wear it in there. We can nearly wear it in there. Maybe I should have taken almost, it Almost, almost. Almost, almost. I'd probably if I scooched around with that. So um, for those corporate ladies, ladies going back to work, ladies that love wearing a wide neck pant, um, this is a really lovely, lovely toe shape, uh, nice square, bold toe, easy to manage, um, blocky sprayed um, matching green heel in that, um, and then you've got that lovely gum trim in through the front there. 
This is really magnificently padded on the inside as well. So you're looking at a patent, sort of semi-formal, um, stiff kind of look, but actually it's not. Look at that, look at the rubber sole on that. It's so nice and flexy, the art sole on it. So yeah, really beautiful style and green. I mean, imagine this with a total black outfit and, um, and then your pop of green on. Going to be Tanya very... says looks okay with the sockets. We've got a lot more um, little Green, green, green clovers um, coming through. Do they still have the thing on the sole? No, no, not anymore. No, okay, no, cool. this yeah. one's fine. It's yeah. already pre-peeled off. Yeah. Um, so, right, so should we try some boots? I know we've had lots of requests um, for ladies looking for um, long leg boot. So let's have a little try of some of these styles I haven't even tried yet. Okay, this is style craze in the bottle green. So bottle green, here we go. Um, oh, 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 oh la, 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 la. Okay, let me chat with you about this just for a quick second here. Beautiful luggy rubber outsole. So rubber means this, uh, flexible, soft, spongy, um, nice blocky solid heel on that so you don't feel teetery or anything like that. Not very high, uh, but still has that heel. Uh, beautiful nappa leather, bottle green nappa leather in through the front shot with a black stretch micro suede at the back. Uh, the micro suede in the back allows, you know, a little bit of extra give in it. So it's like a neoprene um, suede. And you, know, you ladies know all about my leg. It's very shapeless and quite chunky and solid, if I'm honest. So I, all my entire life, I found it difficult uh, to, to uh, make boots that fit and have the flexibility of fit um, for ladies. So look at that, one zip, didn't even have to pull too hard on it. And look at the wow. fit around the ankle. Wow. You know, I, I just wanna have, you know how some women wanna have a waist? I just wanna have an ankle. Uh, and look at that, it's giving me a beautiful, it's giving me shape, ladies, oh gosh, and it's making, amazing. it looks so cool. It looks yeah, does it look cool? Yeah. Oh, should so I? So flattering. Should I, I take it, should it. I take it, yes. should I get it? Yes. Oh, okay, the 37 might be mine, unless you're very quick right now. <laughs> so I've got Renee, in the wind. She's trying on the 41 and now remember Renee's got a very slim slender leg and so you can see the difference in the mm. fit on the leg there. So it's slightly um, less fitted around this area here um, but she's got a lovely fit in through the back of the leg yeah, there. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. Uh, so tell us about, so I'm a 37, this is fitting me as a 37, it's a nice generous fit. There's lots of room in through the toe box so very, uh, for me, it's quite an easy fit in through the width. Mm. How about you, yeah, Renee? No, I'm, I'm thinking exactly the same to be honest, it's, it's a nice, I already have a sock here on but in the winter I'd have a sock, you know, like, yeah. so I've got lots of room for that. Um, yeah, no pressure anywhere. Yes, fits no beautiful. Pressure. Yeah, absolutely no pressure even here or here. So no, this is a very beautiful, true, soft, mm -hmm. so soft under your foot. Also available yeah. in black, and you'll see on our website yeah, as well. Is he wearing amazing. the black? The new buck black is yeah. dream, mm -hmm. dreamy, dreamy, dreamy. dreamy. Oh, I'm oh. thinking. Yeah, why I was thinking girls, that too. Why did the girls get me this? This is, this is yeah, like, I know why they got me this, and this is very clever. So, um, this is what we've done. Your famous, fabulous Willet boot, which we all know and love, um, it has an absolute cult following. Now, if your black ones are getting a bit dusty crusty and you need to upgrade them, why not look for the latest shearling um, shearling uh, change, change, modification, yeah. upgrade, upgrade option? Um, so what I've done is, look at that on the, can you see that ladies on the inside, Ooh, cozy, cozy. So it's still got our fabulous rubber minxy outsole, it's got the, um, it, this is your black milled leather, so it's got that pebbly grain in through the leather in the black, and then all we've added is that lovely soft shearling, um, shearling lining in through the insole, and just around the top, around your ankle part there. Um, in through here is not lined, so you get that nice, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, that's so comfortable and like really, oh. If you thought Willits were comfortable before, you want to try them now with that nice, if you like that nice, fluffy, rich, luxe, softy feeling underfoot. Um, these, are, these feel amazing, amazing. So, um, so that is going to be fun. That's a really good change um, there for the Willet boot. So I think we've just called it Willet Shearling, haven't we? 
Willits um, boot, uh, black milled khaki uh, shearling lining. So that's going to be delicious. Uh, for all those women in Queenstown, uh, Omaru, Timaru, Dunedin, where it gets chilly, chilly. Uh, now, speaking of shearling and wanting a little basic kind of quirky little, well, simple boot for winter. This is style Wanda, as in a fish called Wanda. Um, and you, you're looking here at the khaki green option. Uh, and look at the sole. So this is a new development this winter. Um, it's a, um, a really cool little, again, rubber outsole. So look at that beautiful flex in there. It's got smaller little lugs in through the sole in here. And it's got this lovely painted textural um, uh, like heel piece on, on, in through here. So you've got the lacing up the, through the front. Um, you've got lovely wax laces here. We've got a little minxy tag, embossed tag here, very subtle. And then you've got the zip to get in and out of this. So actually, I haven't tried this on, so I'm hoping that we are gonna be able to get into this without too much trouble. Oh, yeah. oh yes, oh, so this is this is fully lined. Um, so all all the lining, uh, all these panels of leather in through here, ladies, um, have the shearling lining, all that beautiful soft lining. So um, I'm just zipping, oh yeah, look, that fits amazingly well on me there. Um, and of course, I could cinch these in as that, um, as the shearling compacts down, I can just pull that lacing in and pull that boot on a bit more firmly. That is really, really comfortable. Look, jeans in winter, it's going to be great. Really, really great. So that there is style Wanda in the khaki. Oh, new things, ladies, new things. It's so exciting. What else should we have a look at? What else oh, we else should look at Someone that saying one. Rocky Nassan, Patrick Diva. Oh yeah, see, oh, do you know, I had to go into Lighting Plus to get some new lights for um, the warehouse here, and I had my green sneakers and green dress, and the ladies were like, oh, I said, oh, it's St. Patrick's, it's St. Patrick's, <laughs> so, okay, um, look, this is one of your favourite um, boots from last winter, uh, you obsessed over this in blush last winter, and um, this year we've got patterns out for you in this boot, Homage. And this uh, is what we're looking at here is the khaki green with the black highlights. Of course, the reason I do the black speed lacing wax laces on this uh, is to blend back with the black sole and easily allow you to understand just to wear it with black. Don't overthink how to wear the colour. It's even got like a little black tongue on it so that you can actually, yeah, if you've got black pants on, it's all going to blend in and look amazing. Um, so... Don't be put off by the speed laces. We've got an inside zip on that as well. And the sole on this, again, is rubber. So lots of flex in the sole there. Uh, what else? Should we keep um, going? Casey wants to know what other colours does Wanda come in. Wanda comes in lots of other colours. Like it comes in ink. Uh, uh, yeah, does it come in ink? And did we, I did a tan in it. Did I do a tan in it? Yeah. I feel like I did yeah. a tan in it. As, oh. Ooh. Okay. Um, Ooh. Renee's going to look up that in the background for yeah. you. So this is... Claudia. 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 Um, so this is a forest Newbuck. So the difference between Newbuck and suede is the nap and the feel on the outside of the leather. So this is kind of slightly, it's been slightly burnished at the toe, a tiny little burnish in the heel. The reason we do that is to give it a more of a grungy, worn in sort of look. So it has that sort of little slight oily patch on it. Um, really, really lovely, lovely, lovely leather. So the color of this, I don't know if you can see it on your screens, is so dark. Um, that it is almost, a, you know, so it becomes quite a neutral colour. So I'm just zipping up through the front here to get in and out of this. So it's a nice, easy boot to wear. I'm um, just going to talk about the sole quickly. You've got a leather stack in through here. You've got a, um, a sort of a crepe-like effect in through here. So if you are, and I know many of you fit this category, um, are very edgy, um, say provincial livers, lifestyle livers, farmers, things like that, where you've got stony driveways and you don't want a hugely luggy sole that's going to potentially pick up stones. This is the sole for you. Um, you're going to be able to wear that on all that gravel and not bring any stones up um, up into the house and things. So yeah, nice flexi sole on it. Should I have a wee try on? Mm -hmm. So we're trying style Claudia. And again, this comes in other colorways as well. Thanks, Oh yeah, the and ink's, black. ink's lovely, eh? Yeah, black, um, yeah. 
so this is one of those boots again like we have with these front zippers that you can style um, to allow a comfort of fit. If you've got a super high arch, you just leave it slightly undone. Um, if you want to give yourself a bit more of an ankle shape, I would nip it in here and just leave it there so you have that relaxed feel. Or if you're wearing a, a pant or trouser and you want to really um, make this fitted around your ankle so you can cover, you know, you have that nice fit with your pant, then you could do that. Um, but look at that even with a like maxi dress type. That sort of feminine soft grunge and look through here is quite mm. quite lovely. The toe shape on this is um, it's a finer rounder toe, but again, ladies, there's lots of depth in through here, so it's a nice broad, easy fit. Uh, and this leather is beautiful. This new buck is just so beautiful. It's nice to have new buck back in the range again. It's quite textural and hearty and rich looking. It comes in four colours: ink, four like colours, ink. Lake Newback. Lake Newback. Oh, and tan leather. Was it yeah. tan leather? So tan leather, um, the forest Newback, the ink Newback, mm -hmm. and black the black. Black. Mm. Lake Newback? Black leather. Black. Lake Newback. Black was bone That's it. Oh, this one here. Uh -huh. bone yeah. yeah, so um, the other, the mm. Wanda, one of the ladies was asking about Wanda. Uh, comes in um, a black small milled leather with the um, with the bone coloured shielding on it, just to lighten the look. It's a, is this soul a gum colour or black? I can't remember. Uh, I think it's gum as well. I think it might be gum yes. as well. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, lots of questions this morning, ladies. That's good to see. We've got any comments as I race through our green selection? I will have on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Anna says, love your dress. Oh, thank you. Davina oh, says, another clover. Yeah, where's your dress from? I want to know. Um, it's a brand called, I think it's called Black, is it? Black, B-L-A-K. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I bought it last summer and I lived in it last summer, but I just haven't really worn it this so, year. So just cool. cottony and easy breezy. Both boots. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, okay. Yeah. So here's a talking, here's a little chat fest. Mm. So this, this was really difficult for me when I was designing ladies. And I, I, I designed it the same upper, or similar upper, on two different sole units. And I couldn't decide which way the retailers would want to go. This more kind of heavy leathered um, um, stitched rand on like this sole, sole here and a slightly blockier sole. So if you've had a heel, if you've had style Piper Confess, this is the same family. It's got a nice broad toe shape. Um, and then the old, like looking at the alternative here, Claudia, that we just talked about, if you look at the toe shape on this one here, the Claudia, it's a little bit finer in through the toe area. Um, we've still got that same like non-slippy, non-stone um, picking upping um, outsole on that. So you've still got that same sort of ability there. So this really boiled down to which styles the retailer was backing, whether they wanted to go a little bit finer um, but still that heavy winter look, whether they wanted to go slightly, I'm gonna say it's slightly more fashion forward looking um, and bolder because of the toe shape in this way. And um, this also gives you a full grain leather, whereas this gives you the new buck but similar color tone. So let's try this on as an alternative. And what was the name of this one? Isabella. Here? Isabella. I'm gonna say it because I have to every time I say it. Isabella on a bike. Isn't that terrible? My my stepfather always used to say that to me. Huh. Isabella on a bike. Mm -hmm. You know, like you know, it's a funny thing. Anyway, uh, so I move on. Here's Isabella on. Actually, I should, could put one of each on, and then you can actually. Oh, yeah see the difference ladies of, of what the difference is. I'm making one jolly mess here on St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> is anyone doing anything for St. Patrick's Day that we should know about? Anyone going to have a Guinness somewhere? I don't know, we probably I know Jeff be... said before that he is. Oh, Jeff, oh yeah, that's my <laughs> husband. That's just typical, typical Jeff. Uh, right, so here we go. We've got it on ladies. This is the one Claudia we just talked about. And then this is Isabel, the other one. So, which would I go for? Ooh. Would you it's say one's more casual? Yeah, I think this is probably... Uh, one's oh. more casual. No, I, maybe that's dressier. Yeah. It's finer looking. Mm. Um, it's slightly more sophisticated looking. It's a fraction lower in the heel, if you're thinking about heel heights and practicality like that. Um, this one here is it's a grungier look. It's got that bold... Um, toe and rand and leather look. 
Um, it's very, very highly specced with all of this leather random detail through here and the um, stacking through the heel. So the heel is a fraction higher on this one. Uh, the width, it's probably a bit wider. This, this uh, Isabelle's a bit wider. And of course, you're looking at the different leathers here. So new buck, like a greasy, waxy new buck. And this is a full grain leather. Yeah, it's definitely deeper and a lot more room in here um, than in here. But this is a deep last Ooh, as well. Sarah says love Isabella and Carmen says love the Claudia. Ah, see, it's, and this is why I could not decide. And normally when I'm designing, sometimes I'll do a couple of ideas and different iterations of um, outsole sole units. Uh, but I couldn't decide, so I thought I'd give the hard decision to our retailers. Mm. Um, we've got Danny saying, I love them both, I'll buy both of them. <laughs> oh, Danny, you cutie. Uh, right, Danny, shall we show you some high leg boots? So we showed you just before the lovely craze, craze, craze. which we are in love with. We've got Debbie saying, Isabella, I love the Isabella from <gasps> Disley. Oh, yeah. Disney. Yeah. It's okay, I'm sure it's Disney, it sounds right to me. Instagram handles are tricky ones. Tricky ones, I know, because people have unusual, <laughs> yes. peculiar yeah. um, handles and things. Right, so here is another high leg boat. Briar. This di Briar didn't get bought into by very many retailers, did it? I don't think Ooh. that many retailers got Ooh. this boat. I haven't That's tried cool. this on, I hope this is not going to bite me in the backside. So let's just try this on. If you like the Alter Ego, if you like the yes, from last Crawler. Winter. Oh yeah, we loved those, didn't we? In the same lilac, soul, yeah. the lilac. There's actually one pair of crawlers in lilac mm -hmm. um, on the sale, in the sale. Yeah. It's a 37 it's a 36. or a 36. 36, I think it's a 36. Uh, right, so let's see if I can get this up round. This is the challenge, isn't it? This is the, oh, it's no challenge, ladies, really. Yeah. Did you have you got this on? Got We've, got, We've got a pair there for um, Nay Nay to try as well. So, do you want oh, to yeah, see? And while you're, while you're trying that on, Mark says, haha, I speak your language. My dad would say, Isabel necessarily on a bicycle. Yes, yes that's exactly is it, Yeah, that's exactly right. I probably just squished it all down. Thank you. I, I was left hanging there for a bit, ladies. Don't leave me hanging, girls. <laughs> uh, so, here we go. This is Briar. She is a grungy, attitude -y, I know my style, I'm rocking it kind of boot. Um, again, this is going to look great with skirts and dresses and things like that, as well as having, you know, a wide leg pant sort of tucked. I'm trying to do a wide leg pant with a full dress. It's not really working. Can you visualise it? Um, so here we go. Little pops of attitude, couple of little uh, pyramid studs there. You've got that lovely stretch microfiber suede in through the back. Full grain leather in, um, in through here for the height of winter. And this really cool bumper detail on the design. What I like about doing bumper details in the design of it, particularly a boot, is that if you are wearing a trouser and it covers quite a bit, you've still got some detail that could look like a loafer, mm. it could look like, you know, it's like a mystery, like what is what is the rest of that mm. kind of thing. So it just is giving you a pop of detail. If you just have a plain toe, it's quite boring when you've got a trouser on. Here it is with a skirt. Yeah, Renee's got it on with her skirt. So let's see the fit on your leg. Yeah, see that's a beautiful fit in through your calf muscle and through there mm -hmm. as well. It's designed to look slightly um, oversized in through the leg. And dare I say, there is that look around that is quite edgy at the moment that is sort of oversized. You know, um, someone would say like almost like a, a pencil in a, a pencil in a cup kind of yeah. uh, reference where it's supposed to look slightly oversized and slouchy. Um, yeah, if that makes if that makes sense. I mean, obviously on me, I fill it out a, a lot more, but that this is probably more the true way to actually wear this boat. Um, but if you do have a fuller leg, you are going to be able to have a crack at yep. trying it on. That's for sure. Yep. Um, so that you're looking at style briar, and that is the bottle green. And it comes in a black as well. And it comes, of course, that we had to do it in black. All right. Oh, oh, we're still going with the high leg boots. This might be a little bit of a challenge because we've got a well, we few things to. We can, what size is that? Thirty-seven. Okay. So we just did a mail out. Well, I say we, but Ella put together a mail out for you yesterday on the fabulous Lee boot, which we are going to profile a little bit more. 
Uh, we have given you that military style lee boot in seven different variations this year. So there's got to be at least one colorway or one textural difference that you're gonna like in it. Um, we've got perforations, we've got that checker print leather, we've got suede, we've got greasy suede, lots and lots of different things. And then we have the option of lee boot tall. Which I don't think we've shown at all. We haven't, we haven't um, talked about it, no. we haven't shown it or anything. So um, now the trick with this lee boot is getting it set up to start with, and this may take a bit of time, um, so what you need to really be disciplined in doing um, is unlacing it a little bit. And I'm really sorry because I should have actually done this earlier for you. No, but this is real. This is it's it's real. We you know. have no time around here. We're still trying to desperately to but get out about all this. But you don't also do this every time, do you? No, you don't. So you do it once, yeah. you set it up, and then once it's fitting your leg, um, a bespoke fit to your leg, mm -hmm. you can then um, just undo it and do it up as you need to. So I'm going to see whether I've done this enough. Um, what I try to do too is I wiggle it round a little bit like this and try and loosen up the up the um, the lacing. Now, ladies, the thing with the lee boot, which we always forget to explain to you all, is that actually these are little belts that come out, so you don't need to have the little belts on it. And I, my preference, because of the size of my leg, is I prefer not to have the little belts. But you can always have it as an accessory. Um, and use them as an accessory. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I did the lining on this too. So, uh, in here oh, is this beautiful oh, velveteen so angel touch lining. Oh, it is so amazing. soft. Oh this gosh. is going to be so delicious on your leg, ladies. It's so, so soft. Uh, so, we've got an inside zip on that. So, it's really important to make sure that you're working those laces to, so that you're not putting too much pressure on this part of the zip here. So, I've done the mahi, I've done the mahi, I've relaxed the laces and let it out. So, um, wow. so there we go, it wasn't, it, so it, so it, so oh my I'm God. into yeah. this, I'm totally into it, oh, I could really, oh goodness, so um, really, really do this. But honestly, like once you've done this um, once, ladies, you don't need to keep faffing around with it. Um, oh, what have I done here? I can't, I can't oh. see what I'm doing. There we go. Um, so here we go. This is so, remembering, I've got a very big calf muscle and I'm not, you know, I'm not overextending that way too much. Um, so here we go. That's it on. That's it on. Look at the length on the leg. So my knee's here and then you've got that. So traditionally the lee boot went to about here. I've given you another four eyelets. And what I, why I wanted to do that is so you, it's going to allow you to wear it with a lot more skirts and dresses. So Renee's got her pencil skirt on. She'd easily be able to wear her skirt with these boots and have no skin sandwich. Um, this is a skin sandwich. Um, and really what I want to offer you is the ability to do that. And it just kind of lengthens the leg, makes your leg look longer. So, yeah, so you've seen how that all works here. Um, and, of course, if you've got the time and you've got the patience and you've got, you really want that true kind of military um, style up edge, uh, here we go. You just pop on your little belts um, to give it that a little bit more um, detail and things. Oh. <laughs> There we go. Cora so this says, what's the sizing like? Um, okay, so I'm a size 37. This is fitting me beautifully. Uh, it's, got, it's a nice, generous um, depth again in through the toe shape and width. There's no joins uh, anywhere over any bunion areas in this boot. So it's, if you do suffer from that, then um, that, you're going to be fine with that there. Um, so I have found, though, that some people do go up a size. size. Yeah. yeah, maybe in the longer sizes. Yeah. Have you got any yeah, feedback on that, Nate? I tried the 41s on. Yeah. and they were all great apart from the black oil. Mm. Oh, okay, so that's leather dependent. Yeah. So um, the black oil, yeah. um, for ladies that are interested in the, actually the black oil looks amazing, okay, particularly it. if you want to do that sort of uh, gr greasy leather look pant and skirt that is so strong again this winter. Um, yeah, have a look at that because it's quite a cool leather. Um, but it's a thicker leather and so it takes some fitting out of it, particularly with that beautiful angel touch lining. We've got Danny saying, Eek, love this one too. And then we've got <laughs> oh, Danny Mia saying, Hi ladies, oh my god, so cool, love them all. So hard to make a decision on which one to get. Oh yeah, you have to do your research, ladies. Yeah. Don't mm. let us bully you into anything. Um, there's lots of really cool new things, mm. and we're a bit late off the mark. So all your retailers have all of the stock right now. They've had it for a couple of weeks. 
Um, so yeah, go in and have a good try on and a good play because there's lots of very, very cool designs. So I'm going to stand up in this boot so you can see what it's doing there with all the belts on it. Um, so you just need to have, take a breath, take an extra moment to add those the little accessories on there. And it'll be worth it. It will be worth it. It does look quite cool, eh? And it also comes in black and white. Black in, the, in that winter white again, yeah. eh, that we did last winter. Uh, right, have we still got ladies watching or are they, yeah. have they all switched off? Are they still no, alive? No, we've got heaps. We've got heaps of ladies lot, watching? Yeah. That's so, so good. We've got Kirsten, did she come in? Yeah, I was gonna, we should give oh, the... Yeah, she, I think she's been busy. Oh, she's been busy. So yeah. while we're talking about Kirsten, just a shout out for the final sale. I know the girls on the lowdown have put now everything in. So if you look at that sale page, um, there are lots of yeah, extra sneaky little ones that sneaky ones, ones that... We forgot that we're on our shelves that we just need to also clear. So, so have a little look and um, go through there. Remember, at the checkout, you can put that relocation 50 um, for just those um, shoes in the relocation sales section. If you put the relocation 50 in, it will automatically calculate the 50% off. So if you have a look, you'll see that we sneakily added some summer full price items, yeah. which will be on sale if you add the relocation 50 Yeah, so they the look, checkout. when you first look at them, it looks like full price. But once you go to the checkout it will, and you put in your special promo code, it will discount that off you off immediately. But it is only for that relocation sale hmm. um, section. We can confirm our first shelf has gone. <gasps> So we're oh, minus a shelf down Yeah, we are, yeah. we are. We are minus a yeah. shelf. I'm going to give a shout out again to the size 36, 37, 41 and 42 mm -hmm. ladies. If you are size 36, 37, 41, 42, please go online and have a look. You've got a massive selection. I went and saw Kirsten this morning and yep. overnight lots of 42s have been selling. Yes. So make sure you yeah. go and well look done. at them because there's so yeah. many. And just yeah. for the ladies um, who think this sale will be on for Forever. weeks, and what, what when I said it's closing in nine days, what do we mean? Yeah, we are, we, it's closing. Um, once um, we are ve getting very, very low on stock. Um, and so really, I think we, we're going to trade through to this weekend. Uh, we're going to, um, we still have to set up our new store downstairs, which may be another, um, maybe Wednesday or something, I don't know, by the time we finish, it's still like painters and scaffolding up everywhere. Um, but it may be the end of next week might be it. We, we're yeah. out of down the road there um, for sure. And then we're back to our normal prices. You will never see prices like we are demonstrating we've online before, and in is, store. This, this is, is it. it. Yeah. There is, I can't afford to be giving away the shoes like this. Um, so it's the reason we're doing it is that we can't relocate it to the new space. So um, it's our way of, you know, you're helping us out, we're helping you out with an amazing price like this. So go and take advantage of it. Right, have we got any more great, oh sorry. Um, quickly, any? someone, we've already, answered this but someone's asking me addresses from again oh yeah so um the label is black i think it's b-l-a-k is yep. that what it is yeah they've got a store in tauranga, Ta okay. tauranga yeah. yeah um and i believe i bought it off contain in fongamata yeah. but it was yeah. last it was last summer's mm -hmm. so yeah thank you for noticing i haven't bought it i actually bought a bright candy pink one as well at the same oh. time oh, oh. yeah God, um, oh yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll do. We'll end on a high note. We're a semi high <laughs> note. So um, we also also have for you shoelace um, ladies, the ones that want to upgrade and um, bedazzle their sneakers and things like that. We had a. What do we say about the sneakers? Like doing up your sneakers or style, style up your sneakers. Style Thank sneakers. you, Annie. Style Give up your sneakers. sneakers a makeover. Give your sneakers a makeover. Um, so these we've got a whole collection of brand new satin colours, velvet stripes, uh, velvet sparkles, with black with gold sparkle, black with silver sparkle. Uh, they're all online at the moment, and they're in also with our retailers throughout the country. The new shoelaces. Um, so they've landed, but I just wanted to do because it's you know St. Patty's Day. There is a green. Yeah, so we even actually profiled these at all. So if you want to have a sneak yeah. look before we profile the full collection, yes, go onto our website, accessories, shoelaces. Yeah, and have a little mm -hmm. look. Uh, so they're generally going to fit a standard sneaker, a five to six lace-up eyelet sneaker. 
Oh yeah, we need to. Yeah, we need to do. We're all pointing at um, Ella because she's got one of our new um, loafers on as well. So we're, we're going to show you that because I forgot about it. I've also got Evie May Shu saying hi, girls. Good luck with your show. Have a great weekend. Oh, oh thank you so much. So it's just been like a really big journey, and I just want to. We just so want to get to the end of it, and we're really excited to be able to like soon, hopefully, be able to show you the new store, and we'll be doing our lives down there, and we can take you on little journeys around the shop and bits and pieces. It's going to be great. Great. going to be really great and also thank you to everyone who sent us all these messages saying oh you deserve it and well done and we're really excited and we can't wait mm. to come play so yeah it's we've just so encouraged by it thank you i've got mandy saying please open a store in australia oh man oh. look i will go partners with you i've got renee's yep. wanting to yep. escape there for a couple of days so you know yep. we could make it happen yep. what part of australia happen. mandy what part of australia part? yeah, yeah. Uh, while, we, while we're waiting to hear from Mandy, should we just see what Ella's got on? Let's have a, I'm going to make you all car sick. Sorry, ladies. Here we go, zooming around. We're all on the floor here. Um, here, oh, look, while we've got Annie in the shot here, look at her beautiful green dress. Uh, these, there are still some of these shoes. I don't even know why. Oh, which ones? Oh, these. shoes that you've got on, Annie. Solar. These are solars. Now, Annie's favourite. They're My amazing. Thing. And it's the last year that we're going to do this, um, <laughs> this uh, soul unit. So get in now while you can. Uh, anyway, Ella. Come and show the ladies. Come a little bit closer. Um, here we go. I might need to turn myself around because I'm shooting yeah, into the light a little bit. I'll swap, I'll swap over here. Oh, I'm going to go around to Annie. Oh, poor Annie scootling around on the ground. <laughs> uh, that's better. So this is style... Sydney. Sydney. Sydney, we're off to Sydney. We were talking about Australia just now. Yeah, oh, exactly. And Maddie says Melbourne, we need those boots. Melbourne, in the cold. Melbourne. Yes, you do need those boots in the cold. We can hook you up though. Mandy, you can buy online and if they don't fit, we're happy to swap them out for you. So we try and make it as easy as possible. Uh, so we've gone from Melbourne where Mandy is to style Sydney on Alice Foot. This is a beautiful dark, dark bottle green colour. So Again, if you are unsure about wanting to, like you want to wear a colour, but you want to wear something, or get something that's going to last in your wardrobe that's going to go with lots, this bottle of green colour will go back so well with black. So let's have a look at it. Look at that rand detail. The rand is this little extra bit of highlight in through the sole. They're nice and teethy and chunky. Uh, in through the heel, you've got a leather stacked heel on that. You've got minimal lugs on the outsole there, so I'm talking about the sole profile of the bottom there. Uh, and then on top, you've got these tassels. I love a tassel in a loafer, ladies. Um, so let's have a look at that tassel. Isn't that cute? Give us a little jiggly jiggly. Oh yeah, a little flip around. Here we go, it's so cool. I just love it. I love it, these, these are the same fit as the Lee boot as well, for anyone asking. That is good to note. Yeah. So the Lee boot, so I just had the tall Lee boot on and it's the same kind of fit in through there. Same salt. So hey, while we're talking about loafers, it's really important, and this is not a sales pitch ladies, but it's really important to get a loafer that is a really firm fit on when you yep. first buy it. The only thing that's holding you into this foot, uh, into the shoe firmly is this, this bar. So it needs to be firm when you first put it on, and trust me, your foot will settle down over time, and then it will stay on the heel. So when you flex your foot, you don't want it to be loose and slip Yeah, I just have to pull quite tight to get my foot in yeah. for that same reason, but once it's in a foot. Yeah, just a little, like a little hack really, because you don't want, after you've worn it for, a, a, you know, I don't know, a month, to be slipping off the heel, but you'll feel crazy mm. in the, yeah. Right. No, no, yeah, Mandy saying, oh, thank you. Oh, Mandy. Oh, cutie. Uh, alrighty, so we uh, we have profiled a lot, ladies. Yeah. Um, so happy St. Patrick's Day from all of us. Uh, I can assure you that Kirsten is down the line at the HQ in sale mode, wearing green as well. So go and visit her today. She's looking forward to seeing everyone. Um, and so just a reminder, the shop is open on Saturday. Could be the last Saturday oh, down there. Mm. I don't know, it depends on our builders, you know, it's a moving oh. target, it has been a moving target, we thought we'd be open a month ago, uh, so um, this could be our last Saturday down there at the old HQ, just a reminder, 12.30 to, what do I say 12.30, it's like 9.30 <laughs> to 12.30, I'm Lord. Uh, so 9.30 in the morning to 12.30 in the afternoon down there, and well, Leanne will be in uh, to help you ladies out, but it's all in size rows. Um, and don't be shocked because there's already, uh, like, there's, it's bare, yeah. very, very bare. Uh, in fact, if we get a chance to show you a little bit later today, we will. Mm -hmm. um, just to really, yeah, mm -hmm. we'll do like maybe another little special little um, shout out about that. Oh. 
Alrighty, no more questions or anything like that. Let's go have a coffee, ladies. Thanks for hanging out with me. We look forward to catching up with you on Monday, Fun Day, or later on today. Bye. Bye.